We have a new name, Andrew. Drive Nation is yes. dead. Welcome everyone to the Intercooler. Uh, yes, Drive Nation has become the Intercooler. Um, you and I have known about this for a while, haven't we? We've actually been quite grown up about this, haven't we? Amazingly for us, it is trademarked and that's quite a long process. Yeah, I mean, that's why, uh, I think we should probably talk a bit about why um, we've changed it. Um, but the reason, I mean, you and I knew about this, um, well, two months ago, three months ago, um, and that's just the length of time it takes to get a new named trademarked. Um, we couldn't trademark Drive Nation. Um, we tried, um, but we couldn't. Um, but that's fine. I actually think in many ways, because it's kind of like a real name, um, the intercooler is better. Um, I also really like the fact that it's going to abbreviate. I don't think many people are actually going to call it the intercooler. I think people just call it TI. And TI is a very cool car name. It's a very, very cool. I mean, you know, there have been lots of TI this and, you know, GTI that. And um, so, yeah, um, the intercooler it is. And, I'm, I'm fr and, and this is the other thing I would say, uh, and we can't too, talk too much about this, that this is just the first in a series of really pretty big changes that are going to be coming along, hopefully, in the not too distant future. So very excited about it. Yeah, we've had to change the name because it, we're turning this thing into a proper business. It's going to be much more than a podcast and an in Instagram account. Um, hopefully, within, It will still be both of those things. It will still be both of those things. We'll carry on doing what we've been doing, but it'll be much, much bigger. And hopefully within a, a few weeks, we'll be able to tell you all about it. But we're, we're working away in the background on this new thing that we've, we've got going on. Um, Andrew's right. It'll be, uh, we, we hope the intercall will be known to all of you as TI, capital T, little i, uh, just because it looks cool that way. Um, but you're, yeah, Alfa Romeo have used TI, BMW have used TI. Actually, BMW have bought the TI badge back this year on the 128 TI. So we yeah. probably need to have a go in that, don't we? Um, but I, I just, I think it's a cool car suffix because it's slightly under the radar, isn't it? And it, it speaks of sort of energetic, fizzy performance, quite lively, fun handling, but not too much yeah. grip, not too much power. And these are the, the <laughs> virtues that we extol, aren't yeah. they? Yeah, that's very good. Yeah, um, absolutely. Um, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm really excited about it. Um, and yeah, I look forward to sharing more and everything that we know about it uh, with you guys um, in the not too distant future. In the meantime, Dan and I are having to spend lots and lots of our times in meetings with people like lawyers and accountants, um, which I wouldn't say necessarily plays to our, to our greatest strengths, but we're... Um, yeah, actually, we're, I mean, we are actually now most of the way through that process, I'm very, very glad to say. But um, we have lots and lots of technical things to do as well, um, which, which um, is also a, a long, long way out of particularly my comfort zone. I think Dan's better at it than me. So um, lots still to be done. But um, yeah, we have talked, haven't we, about changing the name and doing new things in 2021 and everything else. And um, hopefully this at least will reassure you that we're not just talking about it. Um, it is part of a process. Um, which is, you know, actually happening now. Um, and at the end of the day, what we're trying to achieve, because Drive Nation loved it, though both of us did, and very proud of it, though both of us are, um, it, it was unsustainable. Um, and so the, the choice was never between keeping Drive Nation as it was um, or doing something different. The choice was doing something different or having nothing at all because, um, you know, w w it was a wonderful project, but not something that um, was in any way commercial. It was something that we did for the love of it, frankly, um, and also in the hope that we could build it into something which one day might become, um, you know, commercially at least viable. Um, and it's always a bit of a punt, isn't it, when you make that step, but after whatever it is, two and a half years, um, and 41,000 of you being kind enough to, you know, tag along with us um we think that you know if not now when so we're going to have a go and we would love it if you came with us indeed and it goes without saying that we wouldn't be launching this new thing if you hadn't downloaded the podcast followed us on instagram responded to our posts supported us on patreon so this yeah. is all down to you lot so thank you very much sincerely